Well, my name is Marvin Boogaloo Smith, really Marvin Lewis Smith. But over the years, I received this name, Boogaloo. So that's who I am. Born in Inglewood, New Jersey. Been playing drums from two years old to what you see here in front of you right now. Myself, Miss Smith's youngest son, Marvin Boogaloo Smith. Well, when I started to play drums, being that I was born in 1949, my older brother, Earl Buster Smith, he was already 18 years my senior. And uh, so he was already playing drums with no, no notable personalities such as uh, Eric Dolphy, uh, Oscar Pettifit, Dakota Staten, all these uh, top artists of his time. And what happened was, being that I was the younger brother, he was 18 years older than me, I wanted to be around that music. I wanted to be around uh, the joy that I saw in their faces, the smiles. I wanted to know more about that. So my brother led me to the drums at two. I like to work for a two-year-old kid I liked it. always uh, got its, its difficulties, but when you, uh, you strive to play the music and try to and strive to, to play it as best you can, you know, you strive to play it as best you can, you can, you can start to find that you can do all kinds of things. With it. I wouldn't say the music is hard to play, it's just a question of listening to it and reacting to it. So. That's basically what it takes. It's a continuous journey. It's never really over. So you just take it one step at a time and make it sound as good as you can. Well, 
It gives me a lot of enjoyment, a lot of relaxation. You know, drums is basically the oldest form of communication that you could possibly get. So it's communi communicative, it's called, uh, it's, uh, you can communicate on it. You can play many different colors, textures, layers, all within the, the framework of the time. You can do many things with it. And uh, playing, playing drums to me today is just a great healing experience. I think that's what it is to me. Uh, makes you feel, makes your whole being feel good and uh, like being washed over in a shower or something. And, but the, the, the water is actually music, sound. That's what it means to me. say jazz is a collage of all the different people who came through Congo Square and who laid down their specific sound. And when you start talking about multitudes of people coming to the table of music and bringing their special sound, I think when you mix all of that together, you come up with what is called jazz. White America's got its expression. Black America's got its expression. All these different expressions are expressions to the music or the highs and lows and the happiness and the sadness of the music. Just a continuation. It never really ends. It's, it can start, but it never really ends. So you're just continuing to have some kind of sound evolution if you want to say it like that. Time is motion. A feeling of moving. A feeling of pulse. I mean, if you get in the, if you get into the ocean, that ocean got a certain pulse that you can feel against you. That represents time. So in music, the same thing. That's why we count it off. One, two, one, two, three, four. That there is, is, is a cadence. That means that the music is right here. It's moving just like this. Not like that. Not like this. Just like that. So you got to obey this if you really want to play successful music. It's a law. It just makes you feel that something's moving, how it's moving. That's all time is. Some of that new music I was playing didn't have any time. Not a time as we know it. So just make a, just make a certain kind of feeling of a flow of a movement. The flow of a movement. And then that's time. A lot of musicians don't like it because it's very difficult to play something against time. Time is like that jet plane flying. The jet plane was probably going 700 miles an hour that way. And there's a virtual wall in front of it that's equal to the force that's pushing it. So you got this force pushing it and this force pushing it. That's how the plane stays up stays up because it's got the two forces and it uses the forces to fly beautiful 
It's a beautiful day. That's what I think about time. There's a lot of things that that a, that a student's got to do because when a student comes to a guy like me, they expect to get. 65 years of what I've done, it took me 65 years to do it. They expect to do that in one lesson. It's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. They don't have the exercise, they don't know what to what what, what to do, they haven't played with anybody, they haven't gone, they haven't gone into depth with uh, with, with what's really happening. They, they, all those things I played to do on the drums come out of something. When I started living this thing, and I came to Europe for the first time, I was 19 years old. Now, you tell me, what possible could a new student, a young student, aspiring to play jazz, learn in one hour? Something that took me 65 turns around the sun to learn. They can't learn anything. It takes a lot of patience. You gotta stick with it every day. Every day you play, you might not get it, but you get a little closer. You get, you keep getting that a little closer, a little closer, until one day you can actually do it. And the way I see the young boys today, they they, they can't get it because they don't want to wait that period of time when you can't get it. They want to get it right away, and they can't. It's not reality. Their hands won't, won't even do it. They don't have the technique. They don't know the voice, the voice that you're gonna use, the vocabulary, uh, the rudiments. Most of them don't know their rudiments, but they're hoping to play something. So it's like impossible. It's like you wanna speak English, but you don't have an alphabet. If you don't have A, B, C, D, E, F, G, if you don't have that together, you can't, formulate words. The same thing with the drums. If you don't have the drum vocabulary together, you may really want to do it, but you can't. Then you gotta have a good jam session, a place where, where students can get together, talk, share music, network. You gotta have all those elements in place. And then the student actually gets better because he gets better because he can see what he can do. He can put it to the test. The test is what is what is what works. All the talking in the world doesn't make a drummer play better. What makes a drummer play better is going by and playing with some musicians that can play. That's what makes you better. Not just talking about it or wishing about it. You got to get in it. You got to do it. And then you'll be good. Okay. Okay. Very good.